As Deep Structural Software announces the release of As Deep Steel 5, the software for structural design of steel members and connections, it includes great new features and improvements. This is Javier Encinas, and today we're going to discuss some of the most important features and benefits included in this new version of ASIP Steel 5. Let's get started. When you open ASIP Steel, you see the project manager, or you can see the modules included in the package. In this case, it's base plates and anchorage, steel columns, steel and composite beams, shear connections, and moment connections. Here you can also create calculations and add it to the tree. You can also specify preferences for your project, enter the project information or the user information. You can save your project file or you can open existing project files. Let's create a calculation for each module so that you can see what they do. To create a calculation for a base plate, just click on the button, add a calculation name, any name, click add, and the calculation has been added to the tree. From here, just double click on the calculation. And this is a template for base plate and anchorage design in ASDIP Steel 5. Here you can enter the geometric information, the sizes and dimensions of your base plate and anchors. In the materials tab, you enter the material properties of the base plate and the, and the anchor rods. Here also you can specify the parameters for the seismic design of the anchorage. You click on this button. You see the anchorage provision in ACI 318.19. These are the seismic parameters, SDS and Omega Zero, some typical values. And here at the bottom, you specify the way the seismic provisions are implemented in your design. These are the references to the ACI code and a brief explanation of what it means. Here at the bottom, you specify the location of the anchor rods. The end rods are located beyond the, the flanges and the side rods are located between the flanges. You go to the loads tab. Here you can specify the loads on the base plate, vertical loads, horizontal loads in both directions, and biaxial moments. The design can be in ASD or LRFD per AISC, and also the loads can be specified as a single set of pre-combined loads. In that case, it's just a single number, or a set of load cases, and the loads will be combined internally by the program. You click on this icon, these are the combinations. The program supports as a 7, 10, or 16 combinations, as a 705, and also user defined load combination. This is a new feature in this version. Here you can enter the load factors, save it, and use it later if you want. Graphically, you can see the design, your base plate in plan view. The blue area is in compression, and the white area is in tension. So the anchor rods are effective only in this area here. These anchor rods are not effective in tension. And this can be sorted by load combination as well. If you go to the anchorage tab, there are two tabs. The tension analysis, here you specify the embedment depth of the anchors, and if there's any reinforcement provided, either supplementary reinforcement or anchor reinforcement in tension. If you click on the shear analysis tab, there are several options to resist the shear, friction only, shear log and friction, and in that case the program will design the shear log, or anchor rods only. In addition, here you can specify if the washers are welded to the base plate, and in that case all the anchors are effective in shear, and if there's any reinforcement in shear, either supplementary reinforcement or anchor reinforcement. In the right pane, you go to the at a glance tab, you can see a summary of the results. In one screen you can see immediately if everything is passing or something is failing. In this particular example, something is failing here, so we know exactly where, where to check. You go to the Condense tab. There's a more detailed set of calculations, group by topic, also showing the controlling load combinations, the anchorage design, intention, and in shear. And here is the interaction between them. You go to the Detail tab. There's a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, with exposed formulas and also references to the ACI or the AISC code. Base plates with moments and the controlling load combinations. Here is the anchorage design section, intention and in shear. Graphically, you go to the tension breakout. The program calculates the tension breakout area. And if you go to the shear breakout, also the program calculates the shear breakout area in both directions, in Z and in X. 
The program generates the condensed report with all the results and the images as well. Let's go back to the project manager and let's create a calculation for a steel column. Sign a name, add it to the tree, double click on the calculation. And this is the template for the steel column design in ASIP Steel 5. Here in the geometry tab, you enter the dimensions of the column and the sizes. You go to the stability tab, you specify the column is sway column or a non-sway column. In addition, the program calculates the amplified first moment elastic analysis. You click on this option, show parameters. So the program calculates the parameters there. You go to the loads tab, can be specified a single set of pre-combined loads or a set of load cases and the program will combine them internally. In that case, the stability will be different than it was before. Here you can see the load combinations and the calculated amplified moments. Go back to the, to the loads. The design can be ASD or LRFD. At a glance, you can see a summary of the results. Everything is passing here. You go to the Condensed tab, a more detailed set of calculations, the amplified moments, the column strength, the compression design, local buckling, and the bending in both directions, the combined stresses. If you go to the detail tab, it's a more detailed set of calculations. Here are the amplified factor loads, step by step, with exposed formulas and references to the AISC code. To design for compression, design for flexure, the column, and these are the combined the combined forces. Graphically, the program shows the interaction diagram showing the loads. And this is the content report generated by the program with uh, all the calculations in tabular form and the images as well. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a steel and composite beam, assign a name, add, double click on the tree. And this is the template for a steel and composite beam design in ASIP Steel 5. Now the beam can be modeled as a continuous beam, up to five spans and two overhangs. The end supports can be either pin or fixed. And here there are several options to define the lateral bracing along the beam. This option is top continuously braced. Here the beam is laterally braced at a certain spacing. The beam is completely unbraced. Or here you can specify the distances between uh, lateral supports for a given span. If we go to the slab deck tab, here we can specify the concrete slab, if any, the slab thickness and the beam spacing. If the beam is composite, this checkbox should be checked. Otherwise, if it's a simple beam, just this box is unchecked and the beam is not composite. We go to the loads tab. Here you can specify the loads for a particular span. Final loads or construction loads. Note that they are completely independent now. There are several types of loads. A uniform, variable, concentrated loads, and moments along the beam for both construction and final loads. The design can be in ASD or LRFD per AISC. And as in the other modules, you can specify a single set of pre-combined loads or a set of load cases and the program will combine them internally. In the right pane, in at a glance, you can see a summary of the results. You can see that everything here is passing in this particular example. You go to the Condensed tab. Here are the support reactions per load combination. This is the design of the non-composite and this is the design of composite beam. Here you can see the shear connections. You go to the Detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations, step by step, designed for shear, exposed formulas, for flexure, non-composite, with all the references to the JSC code. And this is the design for flexure for composite beam. Graphically, you can see the diagrams, the shear and the moment diagrams can be sorted by load combinations as well. You click on the design criteria, you can specify the factors for the deflections, different conditions for the camber of the beam, the criteria for the studs, and the controlling design codes. If we go to the design manager, here you enter the range of depth that you are interested in. For example, if I narrow the, the search from 12 to 15 inches, 
VIP, and I click on the Find Sections, the program finds the winners. These are the sections that comply with the design criteria. From here, I can select any section that I'm interested in. For example, if I select W12 by 55, I know that the ratio is 0.77. So I select this section, and now the program calculates everything according to, the, to that section, W12 by 53. This is the contents report with all the calculations and also the images. We go back to the project manager. Let's create a calculation for a shared connection. Add a name. Double click on the name. And this is the template for shared connection in ASIP Steel 5. There are four shared connections in, included in this package. Single angle, double angle, shared plate, or a T. Here at the support tab, you specify the size of the supporting member, either a column or a beam. And if the beam is connected to the column flange, to the column web, or the, to the beam web. In the beam tab, you specify the beam size. And if it's scoped, whatever you specify in the input is reflected in the images there. In this case, let's assume that it's not coped. In the angle tab, you specify if the connector is bolted or welded to the support, as in this case, or is if it's welded or bolted to the beam. And everything is reflected in the images as well. If you go to the materials tab, you specify the material properties for the different components of the connection, for the support, for the beam, for the angle. Here are the bolt properties. These are the, the weld properties. We go to the load tab, you enter the vertical load, the reaction at the beam, and if the design can be ASD or LRFD. You go to a glance tab, you can see a summary of the results with all the applicable limit states and the combined loads as well. At the bottom, you can see the design checks that are applicable to this connection. You go to the Condense tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations. The connection strength, this is the controlling limit state. These are the combined loads, the controlling load combination. These are the design checks and the geometric constraint. You go to the Detail tab, you can see a more detailed set of calculations, the combined loads, connection strength, all the limit states are defined here with the references to the AISC code the geometric constraints. Graphically, you can see the connection in front view, side view, and top view. This is the contents report generated by the program with all the results and also the images of the connection. Let's go back to the project manager. Let's enter a calculation for a moment connection. Double click. And this is the template for moment connection design in ASIP Steel 5. This is a new module in this package. Two types of moment connections are included at this moment. Uh, flange plated, top and bottom, and welded flange. In the column tab, you specify the column size, and if the column occurs at a floor level or a roof level. In the beam tab, you specify the beam size, and two types of shear connections, uh, double angle or shear plate. And we can see graphically the connection as well. Since we selected a flange plated connection, there's a flange plate tab where we can specify the flange plate dimensions and if it's bolted, as in this case, or if it's welded to the beam. Here in the shear plate, we specify the shear plate sizes and if it's welded or bolted to the beam web. In the materials tab, we specify the material properties for the column, for the beam, for the flange plate, for the shear plate. These are the bolt properties and the weld properties. If we go to the loads tab, here we specify the vertical load and the moment at the connection. The design can be ASD or LRFD, and we can specify a um, pre-combined load or a set of load cases and uh, combine internally in the, in the program. If we go to our glance tab, we can see a summary of the results with all the limit states applicable to this connection for the moment connection strength and for the shear connection strength. In this particular case, everything is passing, both for moment and for, and for shear, and also the design checks. If we go to the condensed tab, we can see a more detailed set of calculations, the shear connection strength, 
limit states with the controlling limit state and here is a moment connection strength with the controlling limit state as well these are the combined loads per load combination and the controlling load combination as well these are the design checks everything is passing and finally the geometric constraint if we go to the detail tab this is a more detailed set of calculations with the combined loads so the shear connection strength all the limit states are defined and checked here with references to the AISC code and here is the moment connection strength with all the limit states checked as well in detail the design checks per code and the geometric constraints finally we go to the graph tab we can see the connection in front view and the side view and the top view this is a new module in ASDIP Steel 5 this is the contents report in ASDIP Steel 5 for this moment connection design with all the limit states and the images as well included in, in the report this is ASDIP Steel 5 that was released today these are the five modules included in the package it's a fantastic package for design you can download a free 15-day trial from the website with this we conclude the presentation of this overview of the most important features of ASIP Steel 5. Thank you very much for your attention.